Sagittarius. Welcome back to Angel's Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly general message for August the 23rd through August the 29th. And without further ado, we're getting right into your lovebird bonus for those of you who are in a beautiful, beautiful romantic bond. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's Take a peek, Sag, at your romance this week. All right, angels. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have emotional freedom and shake it off. If others, if you fall and others jeer, just shake it off and walk with cheer. It feels like there is an element of your relationship that feels a bit emotionally distant this week. I feel like there's people around you that are questioning your relationship status. Let it go. It's just a moment. Don't you get involved in it and don't you allow someone else to bring their negativity in it either. If your partner is a bit distance, distant, maybe they are working overtime, maybe they are involved in their own personal growth, but whatever it is, it is short term. So let it go. Shake it off. Okay. All right. Now let's move on. Yes, yes, yes. Sag to singles looking for love. Hmm. Let's take a peek here. Thank you. We have luminosity and fairy wings. In the forest, small lights glow. Those are fairies flying low. I feel like with the luminosity, I feel there is a bit of, you're um, really, really focusing on love this week. You're really all, like almost like all you can think about is love this week but I feel like there's going to be a little bit a little surprises here and there when it comes to love maybe there's a new love interest that you maybe that was there all along but you never really took notice too okay but there's going to be moments of surprises when it comes to love because you're focused on love that's why and I feel like these are actually pleasant surprises with love. So you're like, well, is someone coming? Yes, yes. All right, let's move on. Yes, 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 To Thank you, thank you, thank you. Positive energy, high vibrations for lovely Sag for seven little weeks. Yes, and and yes. Angels, high vibe, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, and thank you. Moving on to, yes, my mama's deck. Positive energy for... Sag, you know what? That's uh, you. Uh, this is probably going to be a very long reading. I don't know why, but uh, my mama's deck had to be two today, and I don't know why. But we're going to keep going with that. Must be something really important that Sag needs to know this week. Let's go ahead and top off the message. Yes, with the hummingbird deck. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. That goes there, and that goes there. Now, we're going to add one from the Buddha deck, and we'll get right into your message. That is meditation. Please take time out this week to do your spiritual practices, whatever they may be. Maybe it's in prayer. Maybe it's in meditation. Whatever it is, take that time out. Now, let's take a peek, shall we? for your major theme. You have the seven of pentacles reversed. Yes, with the king, with the six of diamonds, the king of hearts, I told you it was gonna be a lot, the timing, yes, the seven of clubs and the two of diamonds. So the major theme this week is it's time to start all over again. <laughs> yes, it's time to start all over again. And you're like, again? How long? How many times? I feel like you've started over again quite a few times. This is going to be, I feel like you're like, mm, I'm so tired of starting over. So for some of you, you're starting over with a new relationship. For some of you, you are starting over with the ideal idea of mastering your emotions. Maybe someone has a short temper and you're working on yeah, mastering that emotion. Everything is about timing here. With the seven of clubs, I feel like you are trying to, uh, with the two of diamonds, I feel like you are trying your best to connect with someone. And it feels like, here we go again. Here we go again. I feel like you can 
approach this as a here we go again, that negative, you know, connotation, or you can let that idea, that notion of here we go again to, all right, let's try this again, <laughs> right? See how simple that was. You're like, Dora, it's not that simple. <laughs> all right, let's take a peek at the recent past. You had the king of cups, yes, with the 10 of clubs, the two of spades, mystery, the joker, and the queen of diamonds. So I am picking up here with the king of cups. In the recent past, there was, someone was mastering their emotions, but boy, that didn't mean they didn't have a lot to say to you. Now, this could have been you mastering your emotions, but yet you still had something to say to someone else. The mystery of it was the joker. You did it. You did it surprisingly well <laughs> it agitated you but you did it surprisingly well you didn't yell you didn't you spoke your truth and that was a lot of talking but you didn't lose your temper now this could have been you or depending on where you're sitting in the message it could have been someone else okay now let's take a peek in the middle of the week shall we we have the Queen of Wands with the Eight of Hearts, the King of Spades, support with the Seven of Spades, and the Three of Hearts. So what I'm feeling in the middle of the week with the Queen of Wands, you are literally taking your power back. You're taking control. Boy, with the Eight of Hearts, no, make no mistake, you will be in power in the middle. Oh my God. With the King of Spades, you are working your took us off. I'm going to say took us off. And I feel like there's people around you that are supporting this with, because they, I feel like someone is actually, they know that you're working a lot or they know that you're putting in a lot of effort and they see it, they feel it. And they're kind of wanting to help. I feel like there's numerous people that want to, with that three of hearts, that wants to help you on this journey. This could be, like I said, a love relationship with someone's trying to help you move forward in it. This could be work and there's, maybe there's people that are coming to, maybe you hire assistants or things of that nature, but they're coming to help you because the workload is so heavy. Yes. Okay. All right. Now let's take a peek at the end of the week. We have the two of pentacles reversed with the ace of hearts, the queen of spades, vulnerable, nine of diamonds and the three of diamonds. So I feel like by the end of the week, you are making a decision this decision, it has to do with you. Okay. For some of you, it may have to do with uh, maybe someone maybe someone's deciding to have a baby, right? Or maybe someone's deciding that they want to focus more on themselves, ace being one heart, you or a new baby. Some of you may even be considering having a new, I'm just going to say a new relationship, a new baby or self love, right? But you know, with the queen of spades, this is going to create a change, a shift within you. You cannot control the outcome. If it's a new relationship, you cannot control that person. If it's a new baby, you just have to allow it to come the way it is coming, right? Let's say, um, let's say you're, you're trying in vitro or you're trying, um, different avenues to having babies, maybe adoption or things of that nature, but you can't, you, you're working on it, but you can't control how it shows up in your world. This is putting you, this is making you feel a bit vulnerable, if you will, because I feel like with the nine of diamonds and the three of diamonds, it's challenging you to let go of the worry, let it go and allow it to come. It's going to come. I feel like it's whatever this decision that you've made, it's going to follow through. It's going to come no matter what it's going to come, but it's not going to come the way you expect it to. You kind of got to step back and just, yeah, let it develop on its own. Okay. Now let's move on. Like, let's say, you know, let's say uh, you decide that you want to start a new relationship. You can't control how that happens. You can't control them. You can't control how they show up or um, maybe there's someone in your world. Maybe this has to do with you. Maybe you're wanting, I feel like, I feel like maybe someone else is wanting you to start a relationship and you're like, I don't, I don't know. 
but this might actually be you know your relationship but it's just not the type of relationship you've had in the past okay now when we look at your bonus you have the moon card reversed with the hermit reversed the two of clubs the nine of diamond hearts the luck card the ace of spades and the ace of clubs so i am picking up with the moon card reversed there is something that is presenting itself to you that you were unaware of in the recent past the hermit card this is something that you kind of always knew but now you're like ah yeah i knew that i hear you saying i knew that you're actually talking to um you're talking to someone i feel that Somebody, I just feel like somebody's going to need some forgiveness here. And it's, it's a, I feel like, you know, whatever someone has been doing, you know that old saying, what's done in the dark will always come to light. It's kind of like that, but you're actually giving them love and boy, are they lucky. You're actually throwing grace on them, if you will. This is going to create a new beginning. This with the Ace of Clubs, it's also going to create opportunities for new dialogue new reasons to have conversations so you knew it no matter whether they tried to hide it or not you knew it now let's say this is a hypothetically speaking it's a child you knew that they maybe weren't passing a grade but they weren't sharing it but then it all came out and you're like well I knew it so now let's do something about it all right I wish you would have told me earlier because we could have you know done a B gotcha tutor or something of that nature right or maybe it's a relationship maybe someone did something in the relationship that you weren't maybe someone your your partner maybe overspent or um, you know did something that you just weren't you weren't aware of it but you kind of had a feeling about it it all comes out in the wash and I feel like you're going to show mercy you're going to show mercy and it's going to create luck for this bond okay so I'm going to leave that there I send you joy namaste and much much love sent your way